Welcome to another DJ equipment repair video. I have this CDJ 2000 that had a drink spilt over it and I've cleaned up all of the board and replaced buttons but I did find after putting it back together that the jog has stopped working after so much time so it's okay once it's first switched on but you, we can see after a, a period of time it will just not work if we want to test this we switch back to CDJ mode and then Cuban Play is now working okay we can pitch bend okay We're going back to vinyl stops it straight away and we can see in the middle that the ring light is showing up thinking that the jog is pressed down when it isn't so what we're going to do is we're going to replace this part the DSX1079 and I'm going to show you how to do that although this is on a 2000 Nexus it's pretty much the same for all versions of Pioneer CDJ before disconnecting anything pull the power out give it time to discharge and then I'm going to put my smelly foam on the top to protect the jog wheel from the pressure and then we have one two three four five screws on the top and then one two three screws on the back carefully lift the top up here we can see the top and the bottom sections and they're connected by this ribbon cable so you want to carefully disconnect the ribbon cable so we'll discard the bottom section for the moment and this is the part that we want to get out so let's just disconnect the various cables we need to pop the jug adjust off from the front and we have the screws then hold the jog wheel in place I'm kind of doing this the cheating way I'm not loosening that off but if you just angle it like that and pull it out that way then we can get it out we're going to remove the circuit boards mainly because I might have to use lots of cleaning stuff depending on how sticky the parts are later and now we can remove the JFLB this is the connector for the actual jog movement and then this is the connector for the jog pressure sensor which is what we're swapping over okay so we have our jog wheel and on here there are three clips this smaller square one and then these two angled ones so just gently push those two back and this top section will clip off 
And then this lifts off. Next we have three screws that are holding this pressure plate down. That can come off. We then have three springs, one, two and three, which were under those screws which stop the, the top of the jog constantly pressing down and this is the part that we want to remove. So you can just make out that there is stuff underneath the two layers of that ring and that's causing a short circuit of the, of the whole thing. Um, so what we need to be careful of is we need to save these little black kind of rubber cushions which are double sided stuck down onto there because we need to transfer them over and the last time that I did this I peeled the top off let's try that again So I've just separated the two sections. So you, you can see on that one that there is corrosion underneath that pad. And also underneath that one. Okay. So we want to save that because we want to peel those off when we come to put it onto the other one. So now it's a matter of getting this off the plastic. And there's no easy way to do this. We just have to, to lift it up. And sometimes we have to scrape and then afterwards we have to clean. So it's just kind of potluck how easy it comes off. Let's just try and get a corner up. Is it going to play ball? Yeah, so I've managed to get it up without the glue being stuck to the plastic so far. It is it's split up into sections. So we just have to keep working our way around. This one's been really nice. Normally it leaves all the gunk behind. So that one's off. There's nothing that we can do with that now. So next I'm going to use some isopropyl alcohol. Just give this a quick clean. So we have a nice clean surface for the new sensor to go down. So 
So this goes just like that. That's the part that plugs into the board that goes through that hole. And there's like a plastic divider so that we know exactly where that goes in. And then that one goes up to the plastic divider. So now it's just a matter of peeling off the backing from one end, getting it roughly in place. And then we'll put that first one down up against that divider and secure that down. So that part's secure, we can lift the other part up. And peel the backing off and carry on. Okay, so this last bit, I'm just going to pop that back through. And then just use my thumb. So there is our new part in place. But now we've got to transfer these rubber parts back over. And we need to put them in the right places because if we don't, they won't match up with the ones on the bottom of this plastic ring. So we need to be very careful with these and we want to keep the glue on the bottom. And they've got double sided tape on them. So that's the first one off. And then we just push it down. So then we miss one. It's pretty much every other one as we go around. So that's the rubber, the rubber parts transferred over. We can start to put everything back together now. So we put the springs back on underneath the parts where the screws go. We put this back on and it's e easy to know which way this goes because those two are just close together. And then we put the screws back in. Um, don't fill these full of grease. It needs to be a, a, a fast, smooth movement. So just some very, very light grease, nothing too thick. Uh, just make sure that it, it's clean more than anything. Same goes for this. Just make sure that it's clean. And then that will go on the top. And then when we put it back together, we have to remember we've got our square part just there and then the two clips and then when we're putting this back together there is one part that has a narrow groove and that has a single part just there so that lines up with that so we clip under under the square support on that side and then line up with that narrow groove and just clip back down under those two. And then we have our jog wheel reassembled with the new pressure sensor. So let's put this back into the CDJ. Uh, so just like before, it's just like goes in at an angle 
that corner first. It's a little bit tricky. You want to get that down under that board just there. Make sure that that doesn't get stuck underneath. And then there are pegs in the base to line everything up. Don't over tighten them because you'll crack the plastic. I've got my clutch on this set the weakest. Okay, that so screwed in. That just goes back under there. So we've now got the ball to go back in. So we hold it this way and this cable goes in with the contacts facing up. It actually says contacts upper side. And then that just goes back down in there. Okay, that's screwed back in and then we have the connector for the optical sensors we have the data connector which just clips underneath there back in so make sure that that those are straight and then push that to lock it in place and the last one that we've got is this front slot LED that goes into that little connector underneath the cue and play board. All right, one thing I forgot is this uh, plastic shield. So let's just put that back. So that just sits over the top. Okay, that's that. Put back together. So we just pop that back on. Make sure that we've got nice smooth movement and that the jog adjust works properly and now we can test it so we want to be very careful when we put this ribbon back in that the silver on the ribbon are not loose flapping about peeled back and then carefully line it up and push it in evenly like that we don't want any of that anything damaged on that cable otherwise it will have to be replaced Okay, power back in, switch it on, just make sure that it works. So our Q and play are now working, our jog is working okay so it's working but um, as the problem initially was related to after so much time we just have to leave it and just put full bar loop on and then just leave it as long as it needs maybe half an hour and if it's still okay then that's it job done so thank you for watching this video on how to change the jog pressure sense on pretty much any Pioneer CDJ. And I'll see you again on another video.